What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. And today we are in Lido in Funchal and I am teaching you how to park in Funchal. Big disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a parking expert. So what you've just seen me do is uh, pay the parking for the blue lines. So over here, this is a blue line parking lot. Um, you can park, anybody can park on a blue line parking, but you do need to pay for your parking. Each area has a different price. Of course, in the middle of the city center, it's a little bit more expensive and on the outskirts, it's a little bit cheaper. To give you an idea, in this parking lot in the Lido, it's about 50 cents uh, per hour. So uh, not bad if you want to check out the, the swimming pools, if you want to walk along the promenade. The Lido area is just a little bit west of Funchal and um, kind of best to see Funchal Center and Lido as almost like two separate places. So if you are going to visit the Lido, I recommend parking down here by the swimming pool uh, entrance. There's loads of blue parking everywhere and there's even a covered spot over here a little garage uh, that has a supermarket up there so i'm going to take you out on a little adventure today we're going to go and explore a little bit of funchal some of my favorite places and i'm going to give you some tips on where to park in funchal let's go So coming into Funchal, you want to kind of find yourself a parking garage, a parking center. There's a great one back there at the CR7, Pastana CR7 Hotel. It's a little bit uh, pricier, but it's right on the promenade uh, and you've got access to the marina and to the city center. Um, where I'm going now is one of my favorite spots. You guys are coming with me. You're coming with me this morning, if you haven't realized. So we're heading to La Vie. Uh, to go and check out one of the rooftops. Anyway, coming into the Live View shopping center and then a little corner over here. Remember, in Madeira, everything is tight corners. This is one of my favorite uh, coffee spots for special occasions. Uh, the Vine rooftop is an awesome rooftop. See all over Funchal. I'm personally a big fan of all rooftops. Uh, and of course here at the Vine, it's pretty awesome. They've got great cocktails as well. Between 5.30 and 6.30 uh, is the happy hour. You get 50% off. So if you do park here, um, then you can always just have one cocktail, only one cocktail before you leave. <laughs> right, otherwise you're gonna have to actually stay at the hotel. But anyway, we're gonna have a little coffee, uh, enjoy the view, wake up a little bit, and uh, then we're gonna carry on our mission and show you some more uh, parking spots in Funchal. Uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers to Madeira. I wanna see you drink the coffee. You wanna see me drink the coffee? It's already a tradition in the, in, the, in the vlog, vlog, yeah. <laughs> drink. And your re reaction as well. Ah. Oh, it's nice. So usually when I come into Funchal, I'm parking the car somewhere and then walking everywhere, right? I don't usually park one place, move the car, park another place. Funchal is most definitely a walking city. So you want to park the car somewhere easy and then you want to get out and walk around. Right, if you want to go looking for blue lines in Funchal, you can. You're going to save a little bit of money. Uh, I don't think it's enough of a saving um, to kind of take away that luxury of parking anywhere. And um, yeah, you know, you want to kind of park somewhere central. On the way, what we're doing now is we're heading off to another one of my favorite parking spots. So I'm going to show you a couple of different options. Uh, and then we're going to go and have some lunch so I'm going to show you where you can have some lunch and some more cocktails at one of our favorite places. 
Uh, so yeah, let's go. Green light. Let's do it. <laughs> There's always parking on the ground floor. If you can't find parking, go down. Let's go. This is another one of my favorite parking garages. This is Casa de Luz or Parque Almirante Reis, if I said that correctly. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. So this is a pretty important little parking lot. Why? Because over here, this is where a lot of tour companies pick up clients that are driving into Funchal or that aren't, don't have a pickup um, from outside cities. So for instance, imagine you're staying in Kailieta and you book yourself a couple of tours with us or with any other tour company that starts in Funchal, then the easiest place for you to park is in Almirantrej uh, or Casa de Luz. You park your car there, you come out and you stand over here, which is basically the front part of the cable car, all right? So very close to the cable car. Um, I mean, it's about a euro 50 or a euro per 90 minutes or an hour or something. I don't know if you here, maybe you'll pay about six or seven euros for the whole day. It's really no big deal uh, if you're driving into Funchal. So that being said, uh, let's move on. I got another epic place to show you. So let's go and do that right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is Brito from Adventureland, another company that we work a lot with. They also do Jeep safaris. They got the same cars as us and they do a great job as well. So uh, the office is right here by the, uh, by the parking. Uh, and yeah, just stop by to say hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Brito, see you later. Okay, see you later. Thank you. All the best. <laughs> Cheers, Bye. brother. Ciao. Bye. Another fantastic place to park is right here in the Odino building. And it's all just been restored right in the middle of town. We've got the market behind us. We've got shopping over here. We've got the cable car over there. So, super, super central location. Um, the only reason I don't park here, and this really is the only reason that I don't park here is because my Jeep doesn't fit inside this parking. So you guys, when you rent your little Fiat 500s, you know, there's all, you know, that'll fit. So for you, it's all good. You want to park over here at the Odino, take the lift up to the three house hotel where we're about to go and have some lunch. I'm super excited. Really super excited. Brand new restaurant in the Three Hours Hotel. If you guys haven't seen our video on how to order coffee in Madeira, we did that at the Three House. And we're going back there because they've just opened the restaurant. Let's go. Wait, Jeff, would you say that size matters then? S size always matters. Bigger is better. But not for Odino. <laughs> not for Odino, no. But the bigger Jeep you can find, the better, you know? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have just a bite. <laughs> oh, this bread will be the end of me. This is our salmon carpaccio. Uh, it's cured salmon. It's a bit the difference between the smoked salmon and the gravalax. It's a, a mix of salt and sugar. So it's a little bit more soft, not too salty. And this is a, a nice salad with a balsamic made with a green tea, lime and a sunomono. It's a Japanese pickle with a cucumber. So the bread is homemade as well. It's made with a hot, some dry fruits, wow. uh, sugar cane, so it's very healthy. Enjoy it. Beef tartare, we made like an, an emulsion, like a mayonnaise with a soya sauce, with the egg yolk, uh, mustard, 
You have some capers and the crispy onion on top. Uh, the seasoning is with salt, uh, sesame oil and soya. So it's amazing. Enjoy it. Our quinoa salad is a healthy one, of course. We have some lettuce, some quinoa. The seasoning is uh, furikake. It's a Japanese uh, seasoning. You are made with uh, seaweed, some sesame, some uh, dry bonito flakes. You have the avocado. You have kal. It's a cabbage, dry cabbage. You have some mango, fresh cheese from Madeira, a poached egg, the prawns you ask, and a hummus made with the beetroot. And it's, it's a smoked uh, hummus, so it's delicious. Enjoy it. This is one of our famous dish. Everybody loves. It's a uh, Tuna belly, the, it's marinated with the soya, some uh, plums, some uh, medium, it's vinegar and some uh, sugar, brown sugar. Also have ginger and lime on top is pistachio. The tuna belly goes first to the, the josper, the charcoal oven, and then it's finished in the oven. You have a puree made with mandioca and truffle, and a pickle with the baby onions and the red wine, and baby carrots, of course. Enjoy it. I honestly don't know where to start. So, <laughs> let's just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. All right, cool. Oh, that's good. This is our sphere. It's a mousse. Basically, it's uh, three layers of mousse. Uh, out, inside, they have a mousse made with a Earl Grey tea. You have some uh, basil and some strawberries. It's a very pink and beautiful sphere, yeah. cut in half right now, but <laughs> enjoy it. It's not too sweet and not too healthy. Enjoy it. <laughs> Massive thank you to everybody at the Three House Hotel for collaborating with us on today's video. It is indeed a fantastic place to park your car, not only to park your car, but to come and have uh, some amazing food. That food was really top class uh, and the pricing wasn't uh, too bad as well. So, some amazing food. Their rooftop bar is absolutely awesome. If you haven't seen now how to order coffee video in Madeira, then check that out and you can see all the views from the rooftops. Great cocktails, great snacks, just great place. Open from 5 p.m. onwards, the rooftop. The restaurant is open for lunch and dinners. Thank you, Chef uh, Mauricio Faria. Uh, his food is fantastic and you can see a lot of passion over there. And for you guys, stick around in the next video or the next two videos, we're going to be doing Monte, right? The famous sled ride, the wicker ride. You guys want to stick around for that. So like and subscribe to the channel. Also, this is a great place to park your car, to have some lunch and then take the cable car up to Monte. You don't want to park anywhere near Monte. Parking is a nightmare in Monte. It's all up hills and all that kind of stuff. And also, if you want to know a little bit more, about driving in Funchal, there's another video on our channel uh, just about that. So stick around, like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think in the comments if you enjoyed the video and what you want to see. Funchal is looking awesome. We've got the cruise liner there. The weather is still hot and it's almost the end of October. So ignore the weather in Madeira. But that's it. That's me signing off for yet another vlog. Thanks for sticking around. Let's hit the road. Oh, oh, oh.